Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of 60 Formula. Hope you're doing well today. It's Wednesday, that means it's hump day, baby. It's the middle of the week, you just 50% of that whole entire work week. Here's a treat, buddy. Good job. Yeah, it's a good job. Now, I'm not sure if you guys have already noticed, things are a little bit different today. We're shooting with a Canon GX7 Mark II with a Rode Video Mic Pro. Now, the microphone is the exact same microphone that I use on the other camera, but today we're using a brand new point and shoot. So, this is a brand new camera. Canon cameras just have an awesome way of making the color pop out, and they also have amazing stabilization. I move around a lot, and sometimes I think our videos can be a little bit shaky. For now on, you should be seeing an increase in quality in that whole entire department. Now, first and foremost, I wanna thank the Husky community and all of our viewers because this was made possible by you guys. We were able to get a better camera and upgrade our stuff because you guys come to the channel all the time and we are super duper happy to bring it your way. We hope the quality has increased, things aren't as shaky anymore, and while the sound may not be perfect today, I'm gonna make sure to get all of that squared away ASAP. Here you go, good boy. Here you go. So thank you again so much, guys. It means so much to us that we can bring you some awesome, better looking content. Look at how good that looks. Oh my god, that shot right there. Yeah, yawn it off, boy. So let us know what you think in the comments down below. Do you think it looks better? Do you think it sounds better? Let us know. Are you ready? Speak. Good boy. So what are we getting into today? What are we doing, Britney Spears? What are we talking about? On today's episode, we are going to be talking about all the different types of food bowls that you can get for your doggo. There are literally so many different dog bowls to choose from. Like, which one do you choose, bro? Which one do you get? It all depends on your personality, your lifestyle, and your budget. We're also gonna be going over the prices of those dog bowls, where you can get them, and what kind of benefits each dog bowl has for you. Here you go, buddy. Good boy. So come with us, will you, on another episode of 60 Formula where we find out which dog bowls are the best dog bowls and which one is for you. You ready to go? All right, let's do it. Oh, what's that? Oh, what's that? Is that good stuff? Is that good stuff? You can have some good stuff. Take the good. <laughs> so if you didn't notice that Gila wasn't in the beginning of the video, that's because for some reason she's super scared of this brand new camera setup for right now. It's gonna take her a minute to get used to it. Every time I put it in her face, she's kind of intimidated by it, and that's fine. I'm not gonna push her or anything. But Britney Spears is fine with it. He's like, yo, dude, I know what the cam is. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get into talking about Gila's favorite thing in the entire world, which is food. And we'll talk about which bowls are the best bowls for your pet. All right, so what we're looking at here is a lineup of different types of dog bowls that you can go to the store and basically get for your Siberian Husky or your doggo or whatever floofy boof you got. So you see there's all different types of bowls that you can get your hands on when it comes to pet ownership. So which one do you pick? What are all these different things? You're like, well, that one looks like it came from jail. That looks like it came from jail, but on a planet far away from Earth. This thing looks like it comes from the future, and I'm pretty sure that my dog could live inside this thing. Today, we're gonna teach you what all of these different dog bowls do, all the different benefits, all the different disadvantages, so that you can make the best decision for your furry best friend when it comes to feeding them through an apparatus. Ain't that right, buddy? Ain't that right? He's like, I only wanna be eaten from the freshest and the bestest thing. If I was like, which one would you pick, bro? He'd be like, oh, I would probably pick that one, that one, that one, and that one. Fill them all up with meats and treats and I will take it to go, baby. Yeah, I know you, man. I know you. Can I get a paw? <laughs> good boy, you such a good boy. Oh, look who's come to hang out with the new camera setup. You figured out that you're gonna get some treats. She's like, well, I'm not gonna look up the whole time until you feed me, baby. All right, you've earned it. You've earned it. Thanks for accepting the new camera setup. I love you, gal. So, okay, number one, let's get into the basics of the basics. This is just your standard steel bowl. Now, when it comes to bowls and dogs, we definitely recommend you get something that's made of steel or get glass. Don't use plastic. Especially when it comes to feeding your dog water, plastics can bleed weird substances into water that you don't want your dog drinking. So make sure that you stick with something like this. 
or get something that's glass. The only problem with glass is it may break. Now, obviously, these are the most inexpensive bowls. Just because, you know, there's nothing to it, you pour your food in there, you pour your water in there, and you're good to go. So these are only gonna run you anywhere from five to eight dollars. I wouldn't pay any more than eight dollars. Usually they come in a pair, so you may pay like ten dollars and you may get two or three. That's very common to see. And we do recommend that you get plenty of them and wash them regularly. Dog bowls can get really dirty really easily, so we recommend getting like five of them, maybe six, and put them through washing cycles every week where, you know, one bowl gets dirty, put it in the washing machine, get it clean, and then put it away. So, okay, we're done with this bowl. We've talked about it. Cheapest of the bowls, the most utilitarian. Now, let's move on to this bowl. You're probably like, what is this flying saucer thing? Ooh -wee. Sorry, that was my uh, X-Files impression. So anyways, if you're wondering what this is, it's a bowl that helps control appetite. Now, some of you out there have dogs that go at their food like they are beast from Beauty and the Beast. Like they're just like And this is super dangerous, especially for older dogs because it can cause stomach problems, especially problems like bloat, which can be a life-threatening problem to doggos. So make sure that if you have a dog that has this issue, a dog that eats way too fast, almost like inhales their food, this is gonna be the type of bowl for them. Now, once you teach your pup to eat at a slower rate, it's okay to move them back to the regular bowl. You can wean them off of these bowls and you don't have to use them forever. For example, Britney Spears, he used to eat out of one of these bowls and now he doesn't anymore. He's like, yo, I'm a grown up, even though I'm still a Toys R Us kid. So these bowls will run you typically anywhere from 12 to $20. Because they have the divots in them for some reason, people make them a lot more expensive. They're like, hey, it helps you solve an extra problem, so we're gonna make it a little bit more expensive. And the problem with these is that they're usually made of plastic when they have the divots in the middle because I guess plastic is easier to shape divots with. I don't know why I didn't grow up and become a plastician. So you don't wanna be feeding your dog water out of these bowls because you know, water and plastic, they don't hang out, they're not friends. Next up is a super fancy bowl by Dommy Pet. This is a beautiful bowl right here. This is like the kind of bowl that's fit for a queen. What do you think, lady? Is it fit for a queen? You think so? Yeah? Can I get a paw? Good girl. Just my good girl. Now what we're about to talk about is the creme of the creme of dog bowls. These are super duper fancy and they're really inexpensive. So we definitely suggest you check these out. Let me show you exactly what they do, baby. So if you get one of these bowls from Dommy Pet, they come with a lot of really cool features. First of all, you can take the bowl out of this little base here and you can clean it in your dishwasher. And we definitely think that that is very nice. Oh my God, face reveal. Also, they automatically come with one of these, which is the same thing as this. So if your dog has a hard time eating at a steady pace, like we were talking about before, the Dommy Pet Food Bowl automatically comes with one. So you don't even have to stress about that. It comes with two different types of food bowls. And to top it all off, to put the cherry on top of that sweet, sweet sundae, the Dommy Pet Food Bowl will measure how much food you are feeding your dog. So maybe you're a little bit worried that your dog has a little bit of a badunka dunk you know, one of those big wide honeys, then this bowl is going to measure out all of that stuff for you. You just put it in here, you take your finger, you push the on button, right? And this will measure all of the contents inside of your feeding apparatus. Now the Dummy Pet Bowl is on sale right now for $33.95, a super cool deal. When you get all of these bowls in one, it does so much for you. So if you wanna get bougie and you wanna make sure you have the best for your pet, don't skimp out. Your dog will love you forever for it. Food is the best part of life. All right, so on to the final form, the final evolution Pokemon of all of the dog bowls. This is if you wanna get serious baby. You don't play games when it comes to your pet and feeding them. This beautiful beast right here is the Wopet Automatic Pet Feeder. And what this thing does is it feeds your pet if you don't even want to get up off your couch because you're watching the very last episode of Game of Thrones. You're like, look, I don't have time for that kind of stuff. Don't worry, Wopet's got your back. With tons of different settings to make sure that you're feeding your pet at the right time of day, all you have to do is put the food up here in the top, 
close the lid, walk away, and let the automatic pet feeder do all the work for you. Oh, look at this thing. She's like, baby, I know exactly what it does. That's why I'm sticking around at this part of the video because I'm like, the jackpot about to pay mama. So look at how nice this thing is. Look at that big, nice clock right there. It's all digitally. Yeah, digitally. So what's really cool about this is that you can record your voice. You can be like, set record, and be like, yo, come get the food, baby. Let's go ahead and do that right now real quick. Yo Yo, come get the food, baby. Yo, come get the food, baby. Yeah, what'd you think of that? So you can set it to your voice, which is really cool. The dogs would be like, hey, that's my dad was speaking right there. Tell me to come to get some food. So you can see right here, you can set all your different meal times. There's one, two, three, four different slots, four different slots for meals. This is like the upgraded edition of the Woe Pet Automatic Feeder. This one is beautiful. I love it. The speaker is right here. One of the newer features on this one is that when you close the lid and you push this button, boom, it just automatically comes up. On the last Woe Pet feeder, you had to hold the button in and it killed me. I'm so happy that Woe Pet fixed that. Thank you so much. He was like, ooh, baby, can I get down in there? Miss, no, you don't get to do that. No, that's cheating. That's cheating. You got to do the video first. That's cheating. So let's go ahead and let Gila eat a little bit. I love how it does my voice every time I feed. All right, let's go ahead and feed Gila again. Yeah, what do you think of that, lady? You like this thing? Now, we do recommend this for people who aren't home as much, who need to feed their pet and they won't be able to be home at the time. Automatic pet feeders are a great option for people who may be going out of town for a moment. If you want to take the automatic route, we definitely recommend getting one of these Woe Pet Automatic Pet Feeders. They're super duper awesome. Gila approved. Now, this particular model right here is going to run you about $80 on Amazon, but that is well worth it for everything that it does. It lets you record your voice, it automatically feeds your pets on time, on schedule, and you get to choose all the different times for when it feeds your pet. So if you wanna do portion control, that's all up to you, baby. And it locks so that you make sure that it is safe from your pets breaking in. Cause you know Siberian Huskies, they thieves, baby. They thieves. So those are all the different dog bowls that we have for you today, all the different types of things they do, the different types of situations and personalities that those dog bowls fit. If you need to feed your pet automatically, we definitely recommend dropping some dime and getting one of those automatic pet feeders. If you're home and you hang out with your dogs on a regular basis and you don't need anything fancy, then we definitely recommend just getting a regular steel one. But if you wanna do some proper portion control and you wanna make sure you're feeding your dog the right amount, make sure they're super duper healthy, we absolutely recommend checking out the Dommy Pet Food Bowl. We want to thank Dommy Pet and Wo Pet for sending these amazing pet bowls so that we could review them and show them to you. We think they're incredible. We definitely recommend you guys checking them out if you are into proper dog care, if you guys want the best for your pups, the Woe Pet Dog Bowl and the Dummy Pet Dog Bowl are both amazing options. Just depends on your lifestyle and how you and your doggo live everyday life. So make the decision. It's all up to you. Are you guys ready? Did you have fun? Was that a fun episode? What did you think of the quality and the sound? Was it okay? She's like, yeah, I'm getting used to this camera setup now. I guess I can sit around it. I didn't want to be in the beginning of the episode, but now I'm done being a stinker. All right, guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us today. If you guys had fun, don't forget to smash that like button. Hit that subscribe so that you don't miss any episodes. So until next time, we'll see you with another episode of Guess What? Yep, whatever we make. Peace!